Alrighty, welcome back. It is Monday morning. Um, a little after ten right now. We just finished. Uh, we just finished with our second drop. Um, got up early this morning, and shot over to our first stop. It was a, a small bundle of uh, aluminum pipe. It's only like sixty pounds, sixty-five pounds. And then it was one pole that was 35 pounds. It was like a 12-foot long um, aluminum pole, I think. So I just basically, I talked to the guy, and he was just going to come out and grab the stuff. And I just grabbed it off the pile with my hands and carried it off the trailer. And then uh, headed over here, drop off these bundles of um, flag poles. And uh, now we are headed to our reload. Uh, heading over to Pleasant Prairie. We've been here multiple times, picked up loads that go up by the shop. Uh, I guess they called us on was it Thursday? This, no, it might have been Friday. Called us on Friday asking if uh, we'd haul a load for them. And uh, wanted to know a price, so I shot a price, and uh, I guess I guess it worked for him. I didn't try to gouge him or anything; gave him a relative decent price based off of what I've been seeing on the spot market. You know, obviously I just went above that um, a little bit, and um, looks like we got it. So we are. 30 miles away from that place to go get our reload. And uh, this one's going to be a while. This is a different trip. This one is going to uh, uh, Long Beach, California. And I marked it up to help with uh, California's freight rates right now. They're pretty low. Good luck getting out of there with anything, you know, anything decent. So um, I kind of had a little talk with our dispatcher about that, you know, to kind of see what she can do while I'm in route there. So because we got we're going to try to be there by Friday. Um, we're going to take the southern route. We aren't going to mess around going, you know, across 80 through the mountains and all that crap and all the snow. Um, it's just a little bit farther to go the southern route down through Oklahoma, Texas, Texas, um, New Mexico, Arizona. You can cut through Vegas and you get back on 15 down that way. Um, so that's the route we're going to go. It's just a little bit farther, but the likelihood of us hitting a severe snowstorm and sitting days on end are pretty slim so we're gonna run that route so we're gonna head on down here and uh, get this loaded up I don't even know the, the one thing I don't like about these loads is I don't know what I'm loading I get a pickup number I don't know if it's coils I don't know if it's flat stock I don't know if it's a mix match you know load or whatever So we'll find out in a little bit here, but we're going to get on another road and I'll let you know when we get there, once we find out what it is. All right. Well, we're all loaded. Um, it didn't take too long. It took about a half hour to do it. Uh, there's four skids stacked three high of flat plate. Nothing too crazy. It's only like 37,000 pounds, give or take, right around there. So we got that all loaded up, tied down, and uh, pulled out of the building, and we fired up the uh, air fryer for her maiden pass, and uh, she did wonderful. Had some pizza rolls. It was kind of nice to be able to just pull over to the side of the uh, on the property like that, and ain't got to worry about you know going to a truck stop and dealing all the all the BS there. So that's pretty nice to have that. I'm uh, I'm pleased with the purchase. So we are just 
Just coming out of here. This is a little bit trickier. I think this guy's turning. I don't know. He has no turn signal on, and there's a truck coming from the other side. So I don't know what he's doing. But... Keep my own kids. Get out of the way. We are going to go and do some back roads um, and get around Chicago. I am not going to go down through Chicago and deal with all that crap. So, that's the route we're going to go. There's going to be some jimmying around here, but um, we're going to get on the road here and, and get going, and I'll catch with you down the road. All right, good morning. Um, we are in southern Illinois. We're right down by St. Louis. Um, we're just backing out of our parking spot. We got here pretty early last night, about 5.30-ish is when we shut her down. Uh, the wind was the wind is just gnarly t uh, yesterday. I don't know what the deal was, but I was just blowing through the fuel. Um, trying to push through that. It was blowing so damn hard that I was having troubles even, like, maintaining speed. Um, so, it's, you know, started getting a little tired. I'm like, you know what, enough's enough. I only had about two hours left, hour and a half, two hours left to drive anyways. So, um, we shut her down. Pulled in the truck stop here, and that spot we were just in was just uh, open, and I am not going to flip it around just to make that. It was an easy in, easy out. We just nose her right in. It was nice and nice and quiet and peaceful. I don't have a reefer next to me all night running. You know, nice, peaceful night. We made some more, uh, made some more uh, pizza rolls and a cheeseburger. Um just kind of relax for a little while. So that was really nice to do. Um, <coughs> I was going to get up earlier this morning, but I wasn't feeling that either. So it is just about 9 a.m. I'm rolling out of the truck stop. I don't care. we got a long ways to go. Check out this dude. This container is basically dog tracking so bad that it's going almost sideways. Dude's just running it. I don't know if you can slide the axles on this trailer or what, but I would definitely pull that fucking thing over and look at what's going on. You got, you can't slide them. You got something broke. Probably got something broke anyways for it to be that bad. That is crazy. Snake cab driver, don't give a fuck. All right, well, we are in El Reno, Oklahoma. Uh, it's just west of um, Oklahoma City, uh, right on 40 here. Feels not too bad. I mean, it's sad that we say 409 a gallon is not too bad, you know. Um, we'll stop here to, uh, fill our tanks up. We were getting down there a little bit, um, 800 bucks, $803. dollars That's what it is. We got about two hours left, uh, two hours and eight minutes to be exact. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay here. I think I'm going to keep on pushing. It's a, uh, 
It's a nice 75 degrees. It's wonderful with the windows down. I'm actually dressed a little warm for it because when we left Illinois this morning, it was like 40 degrees. Well, hold on here. Gift, uh, Gift Express is, is more important than everybody else. He's got to come whipping out of his parking stall and cut in front of everybody. Like a clown. But uh, we left this morning, and it was it was pretty chilly. You know, we've just been cruising ever since. We stopped. We stopped and did our 30-minute break, and... Uh, made lunch there i mean that's that's so much nicer than having to stop at a truck stop you know and uh deal with all that crap and honestly you eat the same food all the time i'm so tired of eating hardy's and arby's it's it gets old after a while but uh so we made some lunch quick while we were doing a 30 minute break and uh kept on cruising and we got down here and just topped off so we're going to keep on trucking away we got about like i said two hours left um haven't even plugged it in where we're going yet or anything just kind of flying by the seat of our pants and uh as soon as these guys get the fuck out of our way there we go We got across the street here. Stevens Trucking. Never heard of him. All right. Well, we're here at the uh, rest area. Um, we're shutting down partially for the wind. It is uh, 35 to 50 mile an hour winds with 65 mile an hour gusts. And um, just ahead of us, about a half hour at the 214 mile marker, I keep seeing signs the road is closed. All, clo Jesus Christ, the road is closed. All lanes are um, shut down. Um, so I looked it up on the internet and they're saying there was a motor vehicle accident and emergency crews are on the scene trying to clean it up. Um, so we're just going to hang out here for a little while. Um, we're making, we're making lunch, getting our 10 hour break in and we're going to hang out here for a little bit. Try to let this wind calm down. It's said till like seven o'clock tonight. Um, but I can't wait that long. Um, so we're going to hang out here and, uh, basically I'm just going to wait for that to open up once that opens up um then we'll we'll truck out of here um for if it's closed that bad who knows if it's a fatality if it's a fatality it could be down for a couple hours um i said it was closed at 10 o'clock and 11 46 it was updated and it was still closed so they're already going on two hours so i am gonna hang out for a while just wanted to give you guys an update and uh we'll see what happens later on Arizona. It's uh, getting ready to park here at the Loves, coming up here in about a mile. Um, really got 21 minutes left to drive time, so we're just running as, as far as we can. Looks like we're going to be in uh, jo Joseph City. I believe it'd be about 80 miles east of um, Flagstaff. Let's talk about this one for a minute. It's in the 40s down here. I put on shorts and a cutoff t-shirt today, anticipating warmer weather. <laughs> wow, did I get kicked in the face. 
It's cold. Hopefully there's parking here. Left, anyways. Um, Trucker Path was saying that a couple hours ago, drivers were predicting that there was many spots left. And it was predicting that when I got here, there would be some spots left. So, uh, we're about to find out. But this puts us in uh, a pretty good position for tomorrow to make it to the receiver. Um, so we're a little ahead of schedule. So we can't complain about that. I don't see an exact appointment time, so I'm kind of thinking that leads me to believe, oh, this place is jammed up. Look at this. Um, so it leads me to believe that that place is a 24-7 receiver. I'm going to have to confirm that before I go whip it in there. Look at this place. Double parked up all over the place. What are you doing there, buddy? You parking there or what? Oh, what the hell? You got going here, buddy. You're blocking the whole, the whole driveway. Apparently, he thinks he can just sit there. These are the dummies that, you know, if there's no parking, well, I don't have to tell you, bud. Get out, get out of the way. What are you doing, dude? I guess you're just picking up somebody. What the fuck? See, these are the people that piss everybody off. Dude, move your fucking truck, dude. Holy shit. Some people, man, should not have a CDL. Absolutely should not. This place is jammed up. Go ahead and say, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this looks like we might be uh, throw, throwing her out on the uh, on the ramp for the night. Ain't got a choice. But that thing lied.
are these guys doing? They are trying to jam in here like sardines. Yeah, you ain't gonna park there, buddy. No way in hell. This right here. Yeah, it's too steep. Up no parking signs here. I tell you what, we ain't got much choice anymore. I haven't seen one jammed up like that in a long time. Well, looks like we're throwing her up here on the ramp. Well, this is where we're staying for the night. Another reason why it's uh, beneficial for you to uh, have food and, and a way to cook it and stuff like that in the truck because you could be uh, be having a rough night. not a fan of doing this because I do not I do not like tr trucks coming by coming by me at night while I'm sleeping like this but I ain't got much choice do we or uh let's see the truck stop So that'll be it for the night. We're going to hang out here and um, in the morning we're going to truck our way into Cali and figure out if they are a 24-hour uh, receiver. If they are a 24-hour receiver, that'll be nice. Um, we do have a reload. The reload is not what I thought we were going to be doing. We had to change plans. 
Um, got a reload coming not too far out of there, going into Illinois. Does not pay the greatest, um, but it does get me straight back. It does cover, you know, most of all of my costs. And um, all the profits from this load are going to kind of help um, even that out. Uh, so for this, for this two weeks, we'll be we'll be doing all right. Um, so that'll be it for tonight. I'm gonna get some stuff buttoned up here, and I'll get with you guys in the morning.